Welcome to another SHSU Online Blackboard tip. Uh, today's tip this month deals with how you can pro provide quick audio or video feedback when you grade your students. Uh, by providing this feedback, you give them a more personalized uh, look at feedback. They either hear your voice or see your face as you're providing the feedback around the assignment that they turned in. So uh, we'll demonstrate with this video. Within the, um, the browser that you're in, you'll be in your grade center in the grading area for whatever activity you're in, be it an assignment, a discussion, a blog, a wiki, what have you. You access your, uh, your grade details page or your needs grading to get access to the particular attempt. And here we are. We have, uh, we have assigned this student a, uh, a grade, and now we want to provide feedback. Normally, uh, we for quick editing, we quickly just type in feedback here, right? So the feedback for a student would be, uh, would be typed in here, and I would provide them with feedback around their particular assignment or discussion. So here, uh, you'll notice that I'm kind of limited. What you may not know is I can change this simple editor to my full-blown content editor. All I need to do is to bring my mouse down to this button here. This italicized uppercase A actually is to click to open the full content editor. So when I choose that, it opens it up inside the editor. Here I can just do better text, insert an image, uh, put in a mashup, whatever I wanted to do. But for even quicker access to do the video or the audio recording for the student, I could then choose this button right here, which is the insert recording button. So by clicking insert recording, it will bring up another window for me where it has some options. I can choose to record an audio. You'll notice it's an audio because there's a microphone above it. Or if I'd like, I can do a video recording to the student. So which one you want to use is up to you. Maybe you're already in your comfy clothes at the end of the day and you don't want the student to see you in those and that's fine. Uh, maybe uh, you're okay with the video. Either one of them is a step beyond just textual feedback and it allows you to have a more personalized interaction with the student, one that they will appreciate as they engage in your online courses. So I'm going to go ahead and do it and enable the video. It's going to, there it is, here I am. The first time I would have clicked this, it might ask me, hey, your computer needs permission to access it and I'll allow it. But as you can see here, it, it pulls up my video. So now I'm going to click on the record button. So I click record. It gives me a countdown so I know when to start. Hi, student. Uh, your discussion was great. I really like how you uh, got into uh, talking about the particular topic. I think you did a great job. I will say that uh, maybe for our next discussion, you can actually add a little more context around the event itself. So you gave a pretty cogent answer of what we wanted, but I, I would like a little more context as to what built up to that answer. So if you wouldn't mind providing that in your next discussion, I think you can probably go to the next level in terms of full uh, point value for the discussion. But again, for your first discussion, it was amazing. So you can see I left this feedback for the student, and when I'm ready to stop, I would click on Stop Recording. It then provides me with a video that I can watch uh, to make sure that I like it. If I don't like the attempt or the feedback that I'm giving the student, I can click on delete recording right here. You'll, you'll, you'll see that delete, uh, delete option right there. At this point, I'm going to choose save and exit. It'll allow me to name it, so I might call this one video feedback on discussion, right? And then I click insert recording shows up right here. Uh, I can even give it a little bit more text. So this is important. You have to click Submit a couple times. Uh, watch the video to see my feedback for this activity, right? And then I hit Submit. It then places the video there. Now, I will go and click on Submit, and it gives that student that grade. It says the grade was successfully saved. Now, what I'm going to do is show you what the student would do. So I'm going to use my inner student preview account, which, by the way, if you haven't used that particular Blackboard tool, it is amazing. It allows you to go in and uh, look at your course as a student, which provides many benefits for you in helping to ter determine if your course is navigable, if instructions are easy to understand, all those good things. So I'm going to click on the student preview mode. I'm going to go to my grades. And, oh, look, I have a new graded and... Uh, discussion and the instructor has given me feedback so to access the feedback all I need to do is click on that little talk bubble right so I click the talk bubble it shows up with feedback if I wanted to see the feedback 
video feedback on discussion, watch the video to see my feedback for this activity, I click on the icon. I'm going to bring the video down into the window so you can see it, and then just as a student, I would hit play. Hi, student. Uh, your discussion was great. I really like how you uh, got into uh, talking about the particular topic. So immediately, the student has the ability to see uh, see me as a professor or hear me as a professor and get that value feedback. I hope you enjoyed this tip. I hope it goes a long way to personalizing uh, your students' experience in your online course and providing them with a more engaging experience overall. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.